there YouTube. This is Matt over at Mosh Vapor uh, here to bring you another uh, device review. Today we're going to be looking at the Anakin Cool Fire 2. Uh, this is Anakin's grenade mod. It's an 18350 mod. Uh, could, have used, could be used only with 18350 batteries. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the device here. Three clicks to turn it on. There we go. Get a little light show. Uh, basically, when you hold down the power button, that's going to be able to tell you your battery indicator. Uh, it goes anywhere from green to yellow and then uh, down to red. Once it gets in the red, that means you got about five hits left. Yellow's about 25%. Green means you're above 25. Uh, the device goes anywhere from 7 to 12 and a half watts. Basically, you just turn the uh, dial here. Really clicky dial. Uh, if you leave it in your pocket, there's no really fear of the dial moving on you. Really easy to turn, uh, but it does take a little pressure and it locks in as well. That's a uh, really good thing. Uh, some devices are a little bit too uh, too less clicky, I should say. Don't know the word. Don't know what uh, word I'm looking for there. Uh, but yeah, um, couple of cons. Uh, we'll start out with the first one. The device comes in green and black. Uh, when you do have the black one, it's all black, including the wattage dial. Uh, the green one has the silver and comes with the purple iClear 30B. The black one will come with the brown iClear 30B. Uh, this tank, let's go ahead and take a vape here. The tank sucks. This is Anakin's first bottom coil tank. It's a dual coil. When it works, it's phenomenal. Uh, but that's maybe once out of every 10 hits. Uh, removable drip tip on it. Uh, yay, that's the only plus that I could think of because this tank gurgles, it floods, it leaks. Uh, two of them fell apart on me. This is actually my third tank and I will never buy one again. Uh, I find these separately for about 11 bucks online. Unless the vendor wants to pay me $11 to actually use it, uh, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to use this again. So what we're going to do here, we're going to throw on the Aspire Nautilus. Sits nice and flush on there. The uh, Ego ring has two holes on uh, both sides, just so you get your airflow because uh, tanks do sit flush on the top there. Go ahead and take a vape here. Much better. Um, yeah, that iClear 30B, highly, highly do not recommend it. It's probably the worst tank that I've ever used in my uh, year and couple of months of vaping. Um, two really, really bad things. Let me go ahead and take off this tank. The threads on this device are horrid. The bottom base is spring loaded and it does have a couple of vent holes on the bottom. Really good safety features there. Uh, it has reverse battery uh, battery connection so if you do happen instead of putting the battery in properly like this you put it in that way. It uh, will not fire so a little bit of added features there. Uh, but let me go and pop this battery back in here. The device does not want to thread half of the time. Uh, when it does thread, uh, either the battery compartment or the ego ring. Very, very crunchy. I mean, let me see if I can get that in there. Very crunchy threads. I mean, if I put my finger in there, I'd have metal shavings all over my finger. Uh, the threads on this device are just horrible. Uh, there's not one really good thing I could say about the threads. Sometimes it takes me about 25 minutes to get this uh, thread cover back on. Other times it doesn't take me that long. Um, but still, 9 out of 10 times it's going to be a pain in the ass to do. It is 510 and Ego threaded, so if you have a Pro Tank, you could set a Pro Tank onto there. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Let's turn it on there. It does vape. Um, vape's very nice. Uh, you could put the ego ring back on it, which I'm going to have probably a hard time to do. I mean, the threads on this device suck so bad. 
makes it look a little bit uh, better once you have it uh, set up to actually look like an actual grenade which is pretty much the, the thing that really turned me on about this device uh, without the ego ring yes I'm gonna be taking it off again without the ego ring 510 tanks just look absolutely dumb on this uh, you have probably about almost an inch gap there from the uh, the bottom connection all the way to the tank but with the ego ring it doesn't look bad at all uh, this thing looks like a grenade feels like a grenade in the hand it's a pretty hefty device um, but it just fits perfectly in the hand uh, fire buttons accessible I mean probably probably the most comfortable device I've had in a while uh, just fits so perfect in the hand yeah it does look like a grenade uh, it's more so kind of like a stay at home device you don't want to be really seen in public carrying around a grenade at least I sure don't um, but besides that um, it does go anywhere from 12 and a half to 7 watts um, for you sub vapors out there, sub ohm vapors, if you do want to put a rebuildable atomizer that you built under an ohm on here, the lowest you could go is 0 .08 ohms. Uh, I cranked it all the way to 12 and a half watts, watts, and it was vaping perfectly fine for me. Uh, it's basically made just for tanks. If you have atomizers, cardamizer tanks, that's what the device is pretty much built for. 12 and a half watts. Let me take another vape here. Vapes wonderfully. I mean, this device is so, so comfortable to hold. But a bad part is it's not the device. Uh, it's not a con for the device, but it is for any 18350 device out there very small batteries you're not going to get a lot of battery life out of these whatsoever uh, I might get four hours out of one of these batteries if I'm going out and I only take this device on me I take at least two three batteries with me just to be safe uh, the battery life is very very bad uh, you don't really look that weird carrying around a lightsaber like people used to call them um, but besides that, I got this from myvaporstore.com. It cost me $79.99. Uh, like I said, it did come with the iClear 30B. Um, if I was you, I would take this off the device, throw it to the side, and never fill it with juice, never touch it. The tank is absolutely garbage. Uh, there's way better tanks out there for roughly the same price, if not a little bit more. Um, but yeah guys, that's pretty much about it. Uh, variable wattage only, no voltage on here. Um, wattage basically means the device itself is going to calculate the voltage for you. Some people like wattage, some people like voltage. Unfortunately, you don't get to pick and choose like you do with some other devices, um, especially by Inakin, uh, mainly the MVP or the VTR. Uh, but any questions, comments, uh, leave a like if you'd like to subscribe like I said uh, in every video we're going to be doing giveaways a lot more reviews coming up soon and uh, that's pretty much it guys if you could leave me a message or a comment let me know if I'm just unlucky with these threads if you have a cool fire too with the, uh, the threads buttery smooth and perfect or if I just got kind of like the short end of the stick on this one uh, but other than that, guys, great device. Uh, in my opinion, it's worth the money. It's durable. Uh, but that cool fire, or not cool fire, the iClear 30B, horrendous. All right, guys, but I'll see you next time, and let's keep on vaping, all right?